good to all my family out there in the world. You are now rocking with your brother, Fat Boy Fish. What is good, family? What is good, family? Now, before I get into topics for today, I would just like to say one thing, just one thing. And for my brothers and my sisters out there, I would like to get your feedback to see if I am wrong. Am I ask a question? And then I just want an honest answer from you. Now, from what I've been noticing, when black folk get a little money, they forget where they come from. It's like when you give a black person a million dollars, they forget the struggle. They forget the depression. They forget, yeah, they get up there and talk about how the police treat them, but far as living the black life. It's like when rich black people, when black people get rich, they get on the top of the mound. They pull down they, they pull down their damn ass and take a shit on all of us. That's what I feel like, family. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for that? I want your honest to God feedback on the statement that I have made right now. When black folk get money, they shit on all of us. Do they do they do they get amnesia? Do they forget? Do they forget the struggle? They, do they forget the hood life? Do they forget the government cheese, the food stamps, the struggle, you know what I'm saying? The struggle of being black. It's like Soon as they get money and they get to the very top, they forget what it is to be black. Am I wrong? You know what I'm saying? Is your brother Jehoshaphat? I heard a person that is an actor that I looked up to, and this man referred to our our ancestors as immigrants. And this is a prominent black man. Now you seen how I was talking about the brother Samuel Jackson last night. Samuel, Samuel Jackson, if you hear me. You got a chance, brother. You ain't on no Morgan Freeman type stuff. You ain't on his stuff. You got a chance to turn it around. You ain't no Morgan Freeman yet. But it's like, family, it's like, it's like, it's like, soon as they get paper, they get money, they, 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 they pull down their pants and take a shit on the black community. Am I wrong? You know what I'm saying? Am I wrong? I stand in judgment. I stand in correctment. I don't have no problem. We're getting your feedback, and maybe I can grow from what you said. But from what it looks like right now, smelling kind of fishy. You know what I'm saying? I'm smelling, smelling kind of fishy up over here. And this is what I see when, when black people get rich, they get amnesia, and they forget the whole black struggle of whole, their aunties, uncles, sisters. They forget all about that. And they start thinking like Morgan Freeman do, like they better than everybody. I'm going to tell you black actors right now, if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't be where you are now. And since you got a little bit of paper, you forgot about what it is to be black. You have turned in your blackness for a dollar bill. That's what your brother Fatboy Fish is saying about you. So let's go ahead and get into this topic. Now, family, now, family, it's not going to take that long. Peace and blessings to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. I hope that you see me tonight in prayer hour. Please come join. Come be an assembly in your very home. In your very secret place, whatever you want to call it, take out the time. I don't care if you at work. Mm -mm. You can go in that corner for five minutes. I don't care what you're doing. You can take five. If you just show up for five damn minutes, we could do this damn thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be there. Will you? I don't know. I don't know. So, family, let's go ahead and get into this list before I get off track. It's just a little silly list I want to mess with you tonight that I didn't get a chance to finish earlier. That's all it is. It's nothing serious. I don't want to be I don't want to drop nothing serious on you because I done already said so much. And if you just go back to my last shows, any of my last shows, it's going to tell you about current events. Like it was just like I did this show. Even though I did the show five, six, seven months ago, it don't matter. It's still current to this day. So you want to know about current events? Go through my back, my last shows. It's going to tell you about everything that's going on now. Okay, the last one we talked about, we Trump. Please, let them take the first strike. And then I want you to dominate them afterwards. Okay, let's, let's move on. Now, this is a silly one. But when you was a kid, you used to be scared of Jason. You did. You were scared of Jason. You didn't know about You didn't want to go to no Crystal Falls. You didn't want to be out there. But my question that I'm asking is, who will win in a fight? O.J. Simpson... Or Michael Myers, who will win? You know what I'm saying? Comment, comment. You know what I'm saying? Who do you think? We both know they be by bushes. You know what I'm saying? Who do you think? And hell, OJ Simpson, he hate me all he want. I don't care. Who do you think will win? Michael Myers or OJ Simpson? Okay, the next one. Is Tupac alive or is he like the new Jimmy Hoffa? I don't know, family. 
I don't know if this dude is alive, dead. I don't know. I don't know. Is, is he like Jimmy Hoffa? He said in one of his songs, he said, he said, expect me. He said, expect me like Jesus to come back. Was he telling the truth? Was he being honest? I don't know, family. I don't know. I'm just saying, is Tupac alive? I don't know. I don't know. But it seems like he like the new Jimmy Hoffa. Hey, Snoop Dogg. This is for Snoop. Hey, Snoop Dogg. You said if. You would leave the country if Donald Trump became president. When are you moving? Or was you just talking smack? Now me, I'm a man of my word, Snoop. I really am. I'm a man of whatever I say, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? If I say I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. If I say I am going to do it, I'm going to do it. So I'm, I'm asking you, are you a man of your word? Now, a lot of people don't know about Snoop. Snoop been talking shit on Donald Trump ever since before he even became president. He was talking massive shit. Let's talk about 10 years ago he was talking smack. So he's been constant. When he came out with that video, that's Snoop right there. He's been constant. He's been on Donald Trump ass. But I'm asking Snoop tonight. Now you said by your own words. You said by your own words, brother. You said you would lead this country if Donald Trump became president. Well, he is the president. When you leave him? Some people think I'm mad. I'm just calling him on his word. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm doing. I ain't got nothing wrong with Snoop. Besides from the fact that he can help out other young brothers to get out that, that he's still sitting there glorifying that crip life. He need, if he was doing God's will, he would be trying to take as many black folk gangsters out of that life. You know what I'm saying? To pull them away from that life, to show them a better way. I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay, let's go to the next one. I seen a Beyonce video and I thought the devil was in my house. Family, did you see her video? What's wrong with this chick? Man, I don't know what's wrong with Beyonce. I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. You know what I'm saying? Is she a satanic? Is she a Luciferian? Is she Illuminati? I couldn't even tell you, but from the video, I had to turn that shit off. I felt like the devil. I had to rebuke demons in my house. And I was like, is the devil finna come in here? I watched the video. I said, what kind of devil shit is this? This is some satanic shit right here. It's written all on the wall with this woman. What do you have to say? What do you have to say about that last video? And she showed you who she really is. I, I believe in Jesus. I believe in Lucifer. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Lucifer. Lady, which one is it? Which one is it? Who do you believe in? Is it the devil or is it God? Is it Jesus or is it the Antichrist? Which one is it? Which one? You can't serve two masters. You need to pick one. I hate iffy people. I do. Pick one. Okay, we got three more on this list. And then, I'm going to leave it because Jehoshaphat was saying something that he didn't get a chance to say the lecture. So I'm going to just read it. It's not that much. It's just a little bit. Okay, next one. Have you ever killed a roach and red blood came out of them? Have you, family? Have you ever smashed a roach with your hand and you seen blood come out that damn roach? I'm serious as a heart attack over here. Have you ever, usually, when you squeeze a roach or a bug, they got like blue bug, but usually... I've been around a lot of roaches. I can talk about it. Usually when you kill a roach, brown stuff comes out of it. Intestines and organs and whatnot. But when I squeeze this one blood, when I squeeze this, I, God strike me down if I'm dead, if I'm lying. When I squeeze this damn roach, because I told him, I see you walking around my house. I want your legs. I'll let you live. But you're going to show all your little homeboys. I fucked y'all up around here. So I squeezed the roach, family, and blood came out of them like a human. Okay, you don't have to believe me. On to the next one. Have you ever killed a, killed a roach and they cried out in a loud voice? Man, family, I, I come with that real. And I'm telling you some real stuff right now. Have you ever squeezed the life out of a roach and you heard a voice come out that roach? Have you ever seen anything? When I squeezed this, when I squeezed, I was squeezing the life out. I had them, I had them down like this and I was squeezing the life out of them. And I heard that roach, ah! just like that, just like that, just like that. Have you ever heard a roach scream for his life? I have. I testify on it. I know somebody else done seen that. The blood, I seen it. The roach screaming for us. I didn't even think they could, they had a voice. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know that they could make a sound. But I heard a human-like sound come out that damn roach. You tell me what's going on because I definitely don't know. I'm just asking. And I'm just being honest with you because I seen that. Okay, let's move on. We're running out of time. Okay, we did that. Have you ever killed a roach? Now check this out family, I want you to pay real close attention to this because I found this out, I didn't really know. 
some words that we